Hey guys, I'm Beefy. I'm doing something a little bit different today. Recently, I saw a video by the YouTuber Buttercup, who posted a YouTube video about all the different Pokemon things that they own. I talked to my Twitch chat, and it seemed like something people wanted to see. So here we go. Here is my Pokemon collection. We can start off with the plushies. I'm going to start off with my sitting cuties. Now, this is a line of Pokemon plushies where the Pokemon are meant to sit down on shelves and stuff with more beans at the bottom. I don't have too many, but I have some of my favorite Pokemon, including Crobat, Miltank, and obviously Farfetch'd. I also have an unknown, but I don't really know why. It's not really one of my favorites, but I figured that one day I could spell out Beefy or something. I also have this Magikarp. I think I got it at a GameStop or something. It may have been cheap. I don't know why I would have bought it, uh, but here's Magikarp. And as you guys know, I am a shiny hunter, so I have a few shiny plushes. And by a few, I mean two. This is my shiny Dodrio plushie, and uh, I've been looking at maybe getting a Lucario plush as well, because I know those exist. I think I got this one off of Mercari, and uh, yeah, it wasn't too hard to get, and it's really cool. Another one I got was from the actual Pokemon Center. It was the Celebi plush. It came out a little while ago. It wasn't too, too long ago. I just had to jump on the opportunity of getting it, because I mean, look at this thing. It's such a great shiny. Now, I don't go to Build-A-Bear often, but recently I went to one and got myself a Pikachu plush. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Pikachu, it's alright, but I'm a fan of a lot more other Pokemon, so if I went back, I'd probably get something like Growlithe. But I got it a hoodie, it's really adorable, and it says sounds. I don't know, it's really cute, I'm not upset with it, it's great. Now, Target has this line of pillows that are shaped like different characters and they're all sleeping. This is the Pikachu one. I freaking love it. It's so cute. I think I accidentally have a hole in the bottom of it because I actually use it. It's great. I love this thing. And speaking of sleeping Pokemon, I found this adorable thing while I was moving out of my college dorm. It's so soft. It's really just like the Pikachu. A lot of times in college, people will just leave stuff outside their dorms and they won't take it with them because they don't have enough room. This is one of the things that I found and saw and I just had to take it. Now this plush might be a little bit controversial, but it is the Quick Ball. For some reason, a lot of people started hating on the Quick Ball, and I don't really understand why. I love this Pokeball. It's super cool looking, and it's very efficient. It's the only Pokeball plush I own, although I would like to get more. And I saved the best for last. This is my favorite Pokemon plush. It is the Farfetch'd Leak. Now, for those who don't know, my favorite Pokemon is Farfetch'd. Here's my arm in reference to how big this thing is, by the way. I'm not as big of a fan of Galarian Farfetch'd, but it is a really cool leak, and I mean, how could you not love this thing? Moving on to the figurine type things, I have this really cool Pokeball with a Jigglypuff in the middle. Now, I know what you guys might be thinking, I must love Jigglypuff, but both of the Jigglypuff things that I own were gifts. I don't hate Jigglypuff, but it's alright. As you can see, there's a little Jigglypuff inside, and this is a bit of a light, and uh, if the battery was working, you could shine the light through the Jigglypuff. It's very cool. I also have a couple pop figures. I have this Bulbasaur because it is my chosen starter from Kanto. I love this thing, although I do really like Squirtle. I mean, you gotta love this thing, come on. I also have Mr. Mime because some of my favorite Pokemon are the ones that look really weird and are goofy, and this is definitely one of them. Now, recently one of my friends got a 3D printer, and I just gotta say, I use this thing so much. Here's a Pokeball that I haven't painted. I still don't know if I'm going to paint it, but it's really cool. I would open it, but I'm afraid because I haven't technically glued everything together and it could just completely fall apart. Also, when they were announcing the Generation 9 Pokemon, I just had to make a LeChonk 3D print. It's adorable. It's so cool. And the last 3D print thing that I have is an Onyx because you can bend it and it's so cool. Recently, I got a TCG bundle that came with an eraser that looks exactly like LeChonk. Oh my gosh, this thing is adorable. I love LeChonk. He's just the best. I also have this really cool Pokeball by the Magic Wand Company. They make some really, really cool replicas, especially of Pokeballs, and I would love to get more. But they are expensive, so I'll stick with this one for now. My favorite thing is that it glows and you can click the button to pretend to catch something. And it randomizes whether it catches or doesn't catch. Red meaning it doesn't catch, obviously. Green meaning it does catch. And finally, my favorite thing that I have that I've already made a video about by themselves, I have these Pokemon Crocs. For those who don't know, I'm a huge fan of Crocs, and these Pokemon Crocs are just adorable. They got the Pokemon logo, they got the starters with Pikachu on them. 
they're just amazing. Definitely go check out the full video. But that's it. I do want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a little bit of a different video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video or stream. Bye!